wants to turn me into nano bits. Oh. You know, I don't think my history teacher's gonna believe this excuse. Kilo Khan lives inside computer circuits. With the help of Malcolm Frink, he creates megavirus monsters to attack electronic systems. Meanwhile, a freak accident turns Sam Collins into Servo. His friends join forces in their samurai's attack vehicles. Together, they transform into the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. To bulk erase you, Servo Program. My megavirus monster will make short work of you. <laughs> that fought, Sam? What? Well, you know, the War of 1812. The British, Americans, uh, hit song by that guy, uh, Tchaikovsky. Yeah, I love that song. It's one of my favorites. Along with the Great Big No by uh, Lemon Hits. Well, so, when? Well, the War of 1812 yeah? just happened to be fought in 1812. Oh, what a stoop I am. 1812. Next thing you know, I'll forget your name is Sam. Well, actually, my name's Fred, but we'll let it pass this time. Oh, I've been working on these reports every night for the last week. I'll be glad when you turn these in tomorrow. Yeah, me too. I can't even sleep without dreaming about footnotes and dates. Oh, the other night, I had a nightmare about being chased by Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton riding in a Winnebago. Ugh, frightening. Oh, you think you got it bad? I haven't been able to see Jennifer this whole time. Every time I try to call her, she's at the library. And when I go down there to see her, all she wants to do is study. In a library. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's a sad world we live in. Hey, look, bud. I'm going to bail. I need some shut-eye. And my report isn't going to get any better than it is. Mm -hmm. Later, compadre. Later, Tank. I'm going to uh, put the finishing touches on my masterpiece here. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Or today. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. You are going to be the greatest report ever written. And that was the crematoriums with their latest Love Burns on WDIC Music to Hawk Loogies 2. Oh. I'm to school to start so early. I can't start later. Like next year. Oh, Bane. Oh, I hate all nighters. Oh, I wonder if mom will buy the excuse about an upset stomach. Yeah. Oh, I used that one last month. Mm. Ah. The basic four food groups. Cheese, pepperoni, tomato, and a warm soda. Uh, just what a growing boy needs for breakfast. Morning, big brother. Mm, morning, midget. I made a present for you. Uh, better not be another sugar-covered dirt clod. You didn't even try the second one I gave you. Yeah, lucky for you. It had a worm in it and everything. Mmm, protein. Anyway, you know that report you set up all night to do? Oh, don't remind me. Well, I drew some pictures for it. Really good pictures. Oh, it's nice, Elizabeth. I'm sure all the kids will be very jealous. Wanna see them? Sure, why not? Toss them down. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you didn't... You didn't draw them all on my report, did you? Yeah, both sides. <laughs> Oh my god. Elizabeth! Elizabeth, I'm gonna kill you! You're dead! Coming after you! Mom! Your history! I'm gonna get you! I'm recording my own name! Stop me! Elizabeth! Nuclear missiles? What? Have you taken leave of your senses? Your idea is crazy. If I design a virus like that, it, it would destroy the world. And what is your point? I live in the world. You too, sort of. You are overreacting, me thing. I will use the missiles as a threat. Only select parts of the planet need be destroyed, like Australia and the Gobi Desert, and that little island off of Africa that no one can remember the name of. Look, try to concentrate, Bard Brain. If I design a virus that messes with the codes of military nuclear missiles, and they start firing at random, it's World War III or worse. Do not worry. You have an 80% chance of surviving. You're not so it. I'm erasing that. This virus is going the way of the ring-tailed skink. Delete. No. Delete, you stupid thing. Delete. <laughs> this virus is mine now. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop it. <laughs> Go, my monster virus. Go and corrupt Missile Command Central. In only a matter of hours, the missiles will start firing! No! No! One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Um, do you know what he's doing? I've been afraid to ask. Um... Amp, I hate to bother you. <laughs> ah, Tankery, you made me forget what potato I was on. I'm sorry. I was just wondering why you're jumping rope. It helps me think. Eureka! I've got it! There are some things that are for a mortal man, not to know. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Yo, Sammy, you, you done with your report? I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Ah, uh, I think Sam's got trouble. 
You think he's got trouble? I can't fit my multimedia CD-ROM to the cover of my report. Oh, there. I got it. So what's up, Sammy? Did you finish your report? I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Ow! Oh, I broke another pencil. <sighs> These footnotes are murder. But not as bad as the appendix was. Want to see the scar? No. no. Oh, I'm doomed. Sam, what's wrong? My report. Destroyed. My sister. Destroyed. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm doomed. I think this is where we came in. Hey, come on, guy. It's not the end of the world. It's the end of the world for me. I worked so hard on that report. It was really good. I traced all these little maps and everything. Just tell Mr. Habersher what happened. I'm sure he'll give you an extra day. When those sunspots short-circuited my nose, he gave me an extra day. Oh, he also gave you a note to see his brother, the phrenologist, too. And a nice man he was. He read all the little bumps on my head and told me I would go very far in my chosen profession, either as a laundromat attendant or a laboratory rat. And was he right? Oh, I'm doomed. Uh, not yet. You still have five between classes, a recess, and a lunch period. You can rewrite your report, bud. We'll help. Yeah, we'll help you. No problem. You can even borrow my lucky pencil. I guess I could throw something together. You got it. We'll get your report done. Now, let's find you a nice, quiet place to work. And I'll bring all your books. I have every research book in my locker you would ever need. Oh, by the way, what's your report on? 20 weight coated stock paper, I bet. Hmm. Okay, this is it. Synchronized watches. It's 8.53. Now. Uh, I'm on Eastern Tasmania time. Okay, team. Let's do a report. All right. right. Yes. Okay, Sam. With friends like you guys, nothing's gonna stop me. Missiles, missiles, missiles. You fleshlings have such interesting toys to play with. Do you not agree, Malcolm Meat Thing? Please don't do this! Please! What? And spoil the surprise? I don't think so. <laughs> no. This just in. A sudden electronic surge has hit the underground missile silos around the country. Military authorities are looking into the disturbance now, but say there's no need to panic. They're sure it's simply a random computer glitch. Random glitch. <laughs> Here's another set of references you'll need. They date back to the time of Constantine. Oops, they're in Latin. You don't speak Latin, do you? Uh, not this year. <sighs> okay, then I'll just have to translate. Now, where was my Latin English dictionary? Brain food, Sammy. This will keep you going. Mmm, just the thing to spark an idea. Or indigestion. But this is Mrs. Starkey's special bean dip and salmon nacho piece de resistance surprise. Um, maybe later, okay, Tank? Okay, but I can't guarantee there'll be any left for you. Uh, hey, Ab, you got that book I need? Right here. Anything else? What's that? Sounds like the air raid siren. It must be on the Fritz. I had a guinea pig named Fritz once, although he didn't sound like that. He sort of went, weep, weep, weep. Attention, attention everyone. The civil defense authorities have just commenced emergency preparedness sirens. Please stay calm and take refuge under the nearest table or desk. Remain there until a teacher or myself gives you instructions. Please do not panic. I'm certain this is only a drill of some sort, but it's better to be safe than sorry. This is Principal Pratchard, out. Sam, would you get down here? Wait, I have to finish this one paragraph. Got it. Oh boy, is this a break or what? I get more time to finish my report. Ah. Uh, does, um, anybody have that book on diplomatic immunity? I think I'm sitting on it. <sighs> yep, all nice and warm. Oh, great. Sneak attack, will they? Let me at them. Ha! This is just like the Blitz. We shall fight them on land. Fight them by sea. Fight them in the air. England shall be free. <gasps> Anybody want anything to drink? No. no. All right, then. Carry on. 
This drill is awfully long. You don't think... Well, we would have heard about it on the news, wouldn't we? Unless... It's not on the news. Unless there's no news stations left. Unless... Hey, could you keep it down? I'm trying to do my report. But Sam, this could be World War III. Well, just tell it to wait till I'm done my report. Besides, I don't think Mr. Havisher is going to buy that excuse on World War III again. I used that last semester, okay? I need that arm. Did this get short waved? Yeah, it gets short waved, long waved, age goodbye. <laughs> was caused by a global computer malfunction. Intercontinental ballistic missiles all over the world are preparing to fire. The president has boarded Air Force One and taken to the air. It looks as if it's the end of the world. So this really wasn't a drill. No. I don't want to be stir-fried. Wait, did they say something about a computer malfunction? Find it, Sid. I don't think it's a glitch. It isn't a glitch. Come on. You gotta send us in, Sid. No, I can't. I don't have enough memory. It's gonna have to be just you. We're the superhuman samurai cyber squad. I won't let you down. We know, Sam. Go kick some gig butt, buddy. Pop up the power. Don't forget to write. Uh, no pressure, huh? Well, at least there's a bright side. If I don't make it, I won't have to finish my report. You ready? Ready. Okay. Let's summarize, guys! <laughs> Wipe out this virus and stop those launch codes before firing. Superhuman Samurai! When I'm done with you, you wish you were never programmed. out of time and Sam's losing power. Hey, does anyone have an extra floppy? Uh, will this do? Great! Ooh. Tanker, get ready, you're going in. Yes. Log on now. Let's kick some gigabytes. The pedals to the metal. Hang on, Sammy. Ah. Please 
couldn't be in time. <sighs> well, I saved the world, but I didn't finish my report. Think you'll give me some extra credit for beating up that virus? Uh, right. <laughs> Uh, I didn't think so. Hey, maybe Mr. Haversham will just give you an extra day. <laughs> yeah, when pigs fly. Wow! So that's what was oinking up in my tree last night. Uh, well, no matter what, thanks for trying. We almost made it. Attention. 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 Attention! The crisis has passed. Everything is all right. Everyone is perfectly safe. But because of all the worried parents back home, we're cutting school short. Please return to your homes. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Yes! yes. All right! Hey, and Sam, you've got an extra day to finish your report. That's right. Yes! I've got the book. And I've got the map. And I've got the finger paint. Uh, finger paint. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. Hey, guys, come Get on. Get him! Oh, Get him! Get him! Get him! It is a shame that the missiles were never ignited. I believe that your world could use a good cleaning. A purification by fire. An end to all meat things everywhere. Don't worry. The next time I'll have something a whole factor of ten worse than just missiles. <laughs> This afternoon, don't forget to join your favorite cartoon friends on the Disney Afternoon beginning at 3. But now stay tuned for Transformers Generation 2, next on WGNO 26. may appear, trouble starts brewing, a superhero will appear, superhumans have arrived. Yeah. <laughs>